Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back and welcome to a rainy Thursday evening. Wet conditions through this evening, gradually tapering later on tonight. But if you have any travel plans, the wipers will be going. Bring the rain gear. It's going to be on the wet side. But uh, as we head into tomorrow, a bit of a break and then showers and storms likely in the afternoon. And as we move into the weekend, activity a little bit more scattered in nature. But those rain chances not going down by a whole heck of a lot. So let's look at the big picture. Uh, first off, though, want to show you this. This is big news here at KTC as we are assembling power Doppler 3. The base plate went on the tower. This weighs about about six or seven thousand pounds and then we have the pedestal that holds the dish. Now this dish uh, will tilt down and face towards us and goes spins around several times a minute and that's how we uh, send out a radar beam and also get a return signal and that return signal tells us how heavy the showers are. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that coming up at six o'clock. So stay tuned. Some fresh video coming in there. That obviously was a time lapse. So here's the big picture across the US. Big fat ridge of high pressure here dominating in the West, allowing for incredible record breaking temperatures, record smashing temperatures across the West this afternoon. Upper level low, weak surface low in South Texas. That's been our main instigator for showers and storms out in the Gulf of Mexico. We're not expecting any development with this system, but lots of that tropical moisture was offshore. Now some of it's making a move inland. High pressure over by southwest Florida and then our low pressure system associated with Elsa in the northeast. More on that in just a bit, but you can see the rainfall across the region. Some flooding across a good part of south Texas. In fact, some rainfall totals well in excess of 10 inches approaching a foot. So that's been the big story. And and this has produced more rain than Elsa has, but Elsa is moving along faster. And then you can see that tropical moisture moving in from the Gulf of Mexico. Big marine warning out here. Uh, lots of lightning, and I've been looking at some of the velocity data. Some pretty rough weather there. And then inland across Acadiana, most of Acadiana seeing a shower and thunderstorm activity late this afternoon. Uh, breaking off a little bit for portions of Iberia St. Mary, but not everybody. And uh, if you're not seeing heavier showers, you're probably seeing Seeing, seeing light a rain shower activity. Um, it's moderate as we get into Western Lafayette Parish, a little bit less as you get down toward the Youngsville and Broussard area. Church Point wet and uh, here are the heavier downpours. That's what we had earlier this afternoon. Lafayette from Ville Platte on into northern portions of St. Landry Parish and then back through uh, Allen Parish. And again, you can see some of the very heavy cells heading uh, toward Chico State Park and uh, Turkey Creek with time. And uh, this is going to stay with us for a while as this moisture is in place. You can see how it looks here on the satellite imagery. Lots of heavy duty storms out in the Gulf. A hurricane center actually talked about this today, giving it a 0% chance of development. Then we have our tropical storm here in the mid Atlantic, but look at the rest of the tropics. Uh, lots of high pressure and shear coming through the Caribbean. The rest of the Atlantic basin looks relatively quiet. Even as we go out toward the African coastline, just a couple of tropical waves, weak ones at that. And then then we have our tropical storm. Yes, Elsa is still a tropical storm in spite of being inland for more than 24 hours now. 50 mile per hour wind still producing heavy rainfall. The threat of tornadoes, tornado watch for this area, and Elsa will continue to move off to the northeast, impacting the big metropolitan areas late tonight through tomorrow morning. Uh, New England tomorrow afternoon, and then up into the Canadian Maritimes, New Brunswick, Newfoundland uh, down the line before heading into the open North Atlantic tropical graveyard. So for us, showers and thunder showers staying with us through the evening hours. Notice the model painting still plenty of green. That means at least light to moderate rain for a good part of the night tonight. And then tomorrow, good scattering of showers and thunderstorms. As always, devil in the details, but we'll see uh, a probably about a 70% chance of getting wet, although uh, the HER models backed off on the bigger rain chances for Lafayette. We won't buy into that quite yet. And of course, we'll have another update on that model coming in before the late newscast tonight. So evening showers and storms likely activity slow to taper after midnight. So we have that high rain chance at 90%, 75 the low, and we're going to keep it in the low to mid 80s tomorrow with good chances of showers and storms, but activity should begin to ease as we head into our Friday evening. Uh, Saturday, I'm still got a good chance of showers and storm. Model data wants to bring us down to about 40%, but not going to quite buy that yet. We will do though do so for Sunday and going into next week. Still 
still the threat of scattered storms, but more afternoon activity than morning activity. And then as we segue toward the mid and latter part of next week and into the following weekend, it looks like a downright July forecast highs getting back into the lower 90s. So the heat and humidity.